You might have heard the term brain food used to describe food that's good for you. Doctors at Mayo Clinic say there really is a diet that benefits the brain, but this diet is not for everybody. It's for kids who have epilepsy, and it's based on extremely high fats and very few carbs. More on how the ketogenic diet is helping some kids with epilepsy become seizure-free. Shrimp? some carrots and dip, and chocolate milk made with butter and heavy cream. Katie Rohrbaugh has a special name for this high-fat diet. Magic food. Magic food. It's magic in that the diet has completely stopped Katie's uncontrolled epileptic seizures. Grand mal seizures where she um, just sort of convulses and shakes. The ketogenic diet was first described at Mayo Clinic in the 1920s. Today, it's used for kids whose seizures cannot be controlled by medication or surgery. The ketogenic diet was actually designed to mimic the fasting state. And so what we do there is we feed um, very high fat, very low carbohydrates. Dr. Elaine Wurls says when you burn fat instead of carbohydrates, your body produces chemicals called ketones. This state of ketosis changes the metabolism of your brain. The theory is that ketosis may stabilize cell membranes, making them less likely to seize. And this is her most recent EEG, which was just done last week. And so she had been a number of months seizure free at that point in time. But the diet only works if Katie follows it precisely. Everything has to be weighed and measured to maintain a certain level of ketosis. Because you have to cook things uh, a certain way and you have to measure everything perfectly. And you might wonder about the effects such a high fat diet would have on Katie's cholesterol levels and her heart. Dr. Wirrell says it's actually very healthy because a dietitian works with Katie's family to make sure the fats are coming from healthy sources. Yes, the diet is a lifestyle change, but for Katie, it's worth it. After suffering up to 12 seizures a day, she is seizure free. Dr. Wirrell says Katie will be on the diet for at least two years, and research suggests that even after she goes off the diet, Katie has a good chance of remaining seizure free. The diet works well for many children. Some become seizure free, others have a reduction in seizure frequency. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.